name is Miranda and today I'm here to review the new book Six Angry Girls by Adrian Kistner. Guys, I cannot even begin to start to describe how much this book was exactly what I needed. Like, I, I just, I have so many thoughts and I don't know how to get them out coherently because like, just reading this book is a continuous yes. <laughs> like, you're reading it and you're like, this is the best thing ever. Like, it literally gives me the feeling of, like, after I saw Captain Marvel for the first time and, like, felt like I could just, like, pick up a trash can and chuck it across the street. Like, that's just the feeling you get from this book because it is just so much girl power and feminism and smashing the patriarchy. And it's just, like, it's so good, guys. It's so, it's intersectional. It's inclusive. It's, it just makes me so happy. So, if you haven't heard of it, Six Angry Girls awesome title by the way. It's like 12 angry men but like better because we only need six angry girls. The premise is it's from these two point of views of these girls that go to high school together. Raina is the first one we meet and she is an actress. She's really big into theater. She's super excited for her senior year because she is the president of the drama club. She's going out for all these really cool schools and colleges that she's excited for and she has the best boyfriend ever. He's just so sweet. He's so caring. He's just the best. Except for one thing. On the first day back from winter break, he tells her that he hooked up with someone else and he's dumping her for them. So he's a douche, basically. At the same time, a couple days later, our other main character, Millie, who is on the same mock trial team as Raina's now infamous ex-boyfriend, she has been running everything. She's secretary. She does all the notes for everyone. Like, she keeps them on focus and on task. Well, she finds out from them that they've been planning that they have too many people in the group right now and they're going to hold auditions instead of doing it by like seniority and who's best. They're going to hold auditions now to see who gets to be like the lawyer, the witness, like who actually gets to be on the trial and who's just going to be alternates. And surprise, surprise, come to find out when she auditions, she gets not picked. So right off the bat, Millie and Raina have this commonality of they've been screwed over unjustly by the boys in their lives and it kind of makes it even funnier just that like Raina's ex-boyfriend is also on the team because it's just like it makes her more closer to Millie and being like oh my gosh this man is like constantly a douche. So Raina comes up with the idea kind of just off the cuff of being like hey Millie if you make your own mock trial team to show those boys who's boss like you've got me. Like, I'll be on it. I'll be a witness. At first, it's kind of just like a thing she says, but then Millie really runs with it and is like, why can't I make my own team and show them that, like, they made a mistake letting me go? Because really, like, she's the one that does most of the work. She gets all the research for them. Like, she is kind of the guiding one that makes them really focused and stuff. So she's like, I don't need them. They need me. So I will show them who is boss. And it just, it it's amazing, guys. So the rest of the story is kind of them First, getting the rest of their uh, crew together because they need six girls to be the witness, the lawyer, and then uh, they also need someone, like an adult, who's going to be their kind of, what do you call it? What? Oh my gosh, I've been out of high school too long. Why can't I think of this word? Advisor, that's it. They need someone that'll be their advisor because also the mock trial guy, kind of, the teacher, he kind of screwed Millie over because he didn't really stand up for her or tell the boys that what they were doing was unfair. So... Yes, it's just, I have so many feelings about how awesome this book was. First of all, like I said, what I really liked is it's very intersectional. Like, it is not a brand of, like, white feminism at all. They fill their group out. There are women of color, multiple LGBT characters, and it all just, it comes together really nicely in how they describe kind of how they've all been screwed over by boys and by the patriarchy in their life and just constantly seeing that, like, even though... On paper, they have really different, like, lives. They are different people. They like different things. There's this commonality of they've all kind of been used or discarded by this society that favors a different kind of cis het white male over them. And I think it's just, it's really awesome to see their journeys throughout all of it, especially, like I said, there's six girls, but the main focus really is on Millie and Raina, which I really liked because I um, had read two books previously this year, We Are the Wild Things and uh, Bewitched, which they're different premises. It's just they have the same idea of like a group of girls that all get together. And I think what really I didn't like about those books was that 
they kind of gave a point of view to every girl in the group and it could get very hard to relate to each girl because really you were only getting like a couple chapters before it would switch to someone else and then a couple chapters before it switched to another person and it was just kind of like it was hard to connect to the girls in that sense of it being like just too bogged down with too many point of views. I feel like this on the other hand even though there are six girls in the mock trial club having the focus really be on Millie and Raina I think helped drive the story a lot more and root it because it was like I loved all the girls but Raina and Millie were really like the anchors of this and seeing them and their whole journeys throughout this was really really great because it's like not only not only what's going on at school but they have other things in their lives so the interesting thing with both of them is that they both kind of have issues with their dads in separate ways so Millie her dad is divorced from the mom the mom moved away now she's kind of become like the maid for him like she does all the stuff for him she is expected to like make the food, clean the house, figure out like his appointments and stuff like that. Like she's basically just like his secretary, honestly. Reyna, on the other hand, her dad is a truck driver, I believe. So he's away a lot and she kind of says that like, yeah, she loves her dad, but it, she doesn't have that close relationship with him where she feels like she can really tell him stuff. And then also Reyna herself is kind of struggling with who she is after this breakup because she's been so wrapped up in being with Brandon for so long and he's kind of become like her identity like she does things because he says that she should like she even mentioned at the beginning of the book that she kind of wanted to try out for mock trial originally way back when but Brandon was the one that was like no you should just stick to like one thing like it's good if like you're good you're good with acting and you know you don't want to get too bogged down with different interests so it's really nice to see that journey of them realize that like they're so strong and capable on their own it's not because these guys let them it's because they've actually like are strong in themselves and these guys have actually been holding them back instead of letting them reach their two true potential so it's really really awesome and then I just think the whole like I want to say it reads like Netflix make this a TV show or a movie but after what Netflix is doing with the Avatar The Last Airbender remake I want them to never go near this series but it really does read like kind of that super quick like gathering the group and stuff like that and then also just the rivalry of the new mock team versus the old mock team and how you know the old mock team tries to intimidate them and say like you know they try and use all the rules all the loopholes to beat them it's one of those things where it's like if we're no competition and you keep saying that we're worthless and we're not anything to be scared of why are you trying so hard to keep us from actually competing so it's just really it's really nice you know and there's this whole other storyline that Raina gets involved in with the town because there's a judge in the town that is super super anti feminism anti women and he is involved sporadically throughout but also like it just kind of shows the overall it, it shows how it's at all these levels the patriarchy invades all these levels it's at your school it's in your city court it's in your country like it's just so prevalent and so just consuming that like you have to fight back you have to fight back and I think that's what Millie and Raina Raina especially I think is kind of more like let's go Millie throughout the thing I think realizes more of how she doesn't have to be beholden and I think she herself kind of has to break down this narrative that I think a lot of women have of you have to be the team player don't complain don't stand up for yourself like just smile and go along and keep the peace because that's what's gonna you know be best for you and that's what everyone expects for you and I think that's what she really struggles with is that being a team player sometimes doing the right thing and standing up for yourself is more important than keeping the peace and being complicit in a system that keeps other people down and keeps you down as long as you know like keeps you in your place but don't go too far above because we don't like that so I cannot recommend this book enough guys I just I love it so much like I can't wait to read it again I'm gonna get I read like a e-copy of it but I'm gonna get a physical copy of it and bookmark the crap out of that like post-it note at all my favorite parts because it's just so so good and I'm so excited to see what else the author is gonna write I definitely I love it I love it so much so I gave the book five out of five stars it's definitely one of my new favorites and one of my favorite reads of the year if you have read it please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down in the comments also make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time bye